addicted to war porn, all right? But I think the CO wants to touch my wiener. Medic! 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 Good. New show. Any, uh, was there the military award system has got us all fucked up. Everyone who's ever experienced that shit knows that it's ridiculous. It's hard to respect the system. Why? Because of who gets awarded and the reasons they're getting awarded and the people who don't get awarded, right? So all of that serves to create this. It's always made me like this. I get fucking angry thinking about it. So what we did was created a television show there are more important things than a career. Loyalty, duty, honor. Anderson, you're, you're talking crazy. Wait. Anderson! That gets to take a shit on the system because it's, it's, it needs to be shat on. <laughs> Diary of fucking shit it on. Oh my God. Okay, so we made this thing for everyone else who's ever felt that same anger and seen someone get an award and who didn't deserve it. So that you feel validated. So that you're just like, yes! Fucking hey, these guys get it, and then the, the result is, the result is you feel like you're not alone. Got the mark. Back on the set of V for Valor, we're here in the middle of the Afghan village where we have filmed a show that is unlike any show that has ever been made before. It's crazy. We, we poured our combat experiences into it. We, we did a tremendous amount of research, watched a bunch of, of combat camera, a bunch of combat footage from all sorts of wars. Um, it's going to have a, just, just a, a versatility and, a, and a, a just feeling of just being completely in the shit, unlike any show we've ever made. Really fucking cool using a lot of GoPros to capture it, the same way we actually captured combat when we were in combat. At least GoPros before your time. Before my we time. had GoPros uh, yeah, with yeah, us yeah, in yeah. Afghanistan. Some of us fought the real war. <laughs> oh! All right. My goodness. Wi-Fi. No, we had Wi-Fi. Okay. Excuse us. We didn't have digital cameras. So. First push to Fallujah, now he's whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, my so, deployment matters. <laughs> hashtag. <laughs> so, the style of the show has never been done before because we're making it look like it's actual combat footage, but it's not. It's totally scripted. And we're super excited to give it to you because it's VET TV. You know it's gonna be dark, irreverent, twisted, just fucking psychotic and sick and exactly what we wanna fucking watch because it makes us happy. You're such a little bitch. <laughs> All right. I took a quick detour into failed abortion compilations. Sniper buddy, sniper buddy, sniper on the hill. Matthias, what else? Uh, you know, you're gonna feel like you're really in the shit, okay? You're gonna be really in it. I like the uh, GoPro footage, right, and everything, like shaking a little bit. Oh, you, can, you feel like you are that person. Let's go, bitches! Yeah, wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. <laughs> if shit goes bad, what are we supposed to use? Smoke signals? I'm just following order, Sergeant. We made this because we wanted everyone to feel understood. Who's ever had those emotions? It's like, oh my God, these guys at Vet TV get it. And then when you watch it together with other people, when you see the comments, you're like, oh wow, all these people fucking felt the same way. And then we all feel connected. We all feel like we're not alone. That's a powerful part of community building. And then we also show what a fucking clusterfuck war is. We want everyone who's ever experienced what a chaotic and just unbelievably misunderstood environment that warfare is. So we're just going back to where we should have been? Shut the fuck up. Move out! Move out! And then also, we made this thing because we wanted to take something that has a negative emotion that, that exists inside all of us who have felt it. We want to take that emotion and we're going to turn it into something positive because we're going to bring laughter to it. By bringing laughter to that emotion, we're changing the emotional association with your military experience. So that this one thing that kind of sits inside of your soul and just kind of irks you, it's the kind of thing that you either don't want to talk about or you can't stop talking about it. 
maybe to hopefully to a therapist or maybe to some of your buddies that you get together with, that you serve with, right? And we want to take that thing and we want you guys to now talk about it amongst each other with your, your groups of friends in a funny way. And that's a powerful part of community building. Can you get someone to get my titty milk for me? Please? I'm thirsty. With this show right here, we have, uh, we have it built around war and whatnot, right? But I know that there's plenty of you guys out there that have not been to war, haven't seen anything like that, but still um, will be able to relate to someone getting something that they did not earn. Wait, did I just fuck all this up? Yeah, yeah I did. <laughs> so, you know, don't feel bad or anything like that just because you didn't get, get to go uh, tie it on and kill some people. It's okay. Booch. But, anyways, <laughs> war or not, we all know of someone that got something they didn't deserve. You're going to like this. If you worked in any sort of bureaucracy, anything, any bureaucracy, any fucking <laughs> public education, it doesn't matter, <laughs> any form of the government, even if you're working in, in a hospital as a nurse, even in large companies that are decently bureaucratic, you have experienced the same emotions that we've experienced in combat in terms of the chaos, the, the lack of perspective, and then fucking people getting promoted and awarded who you don't think deserved it. And no you know no. don't deserve it. And um, and so it's a relatable thing, regardless of, of where you have been. Now, I know when I signed up for the Army, I had this really romantic belief of the award system, right? They tell you about Audie Murphy and everyone runs through gunfire and jumping on landmines and all this stuff. And then you actually go to war and you realize how political the award system is. It's about rank, it's about what officers you know. It's about all this this, this bullshit. And so I, you know, I mean, I, I could have probably pieced out, kept my R calm, a CIB and said I'm good, but you know, I got to watch a lot of people who didn't deserve awards get them, and a lot of people who did deserve awards, who did some crazy shit in combat, walk away empty-handed. It's, it's, it's a wildly imbalanced system, so we made this pretty amazing satire for you guys, and each episode kind of unfolds a little bit like a mystery, so you learn a little bit more. It's like a big, uh, incompetent onion, and you just peel away the CO's incompetence, one layer, one episode at a time, until you get the full story, and there's some real big twists at the end. We're not gonna spoil them here, but it's pretty fucking funny. So the show's gonna do a whole lot of shit, but all you're going to experience is a bunch of wild, chaotic, fucked up shit here on this giant ass set that I should say was written and directed by these guys right here and Jessica Mandala, Josh and Matthias. And uh, they filmed it on this giant ass set. You can you can see some of the people out there. I think we got a bunch. Are those the Taliban guys? Yeah, the, the Taliban. Hand? The Taliban on the hill. <laughs> After a long day of playing the football, now we go kill. First we play football, then we put our foot in your balls, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Could we start the music video right there? Yeah. Shoot at it, shoot at it, shoot at it! Retreat, retreat! <laughs> It's the same sick and fucking twisted style of humor that you could expect from Vet TV. Why? Because Vet TV makes the humor that you guys fucking have. Taliban, no more Taliban. They're a bunch of boy fucking assholes. It's like one of those shows, man. Like you're gonna be sitting there after each episode, you're gonna be like, oh, oh, it's gonna end. We're gonna have to wait a week. You're like, God, you're, like, ah, you're gonna think you know what's going on, then boom, twist. Where am I at? Yeah, that's what we're gonna have. Let me show you episode, you wanna see episode six? Mm -hmm. Matthias watching episode six? Drunk strike in your fucking brain. It's so crazy. Crazy. You won't believe it. V for Valor, guys. Only on veteran television. Make sure to watch it. It's only $5 a month, so there's literally no excuse to watch a form of entertainment that literally doesn't exist anywhere in the world. Only on that TV. Peace, love, war. Peace, love, war. Thanks, y'all. That is a rebel. Beat for Valor. Great job, everybody. Woo!